Hello everyone. How is everybody doing today on this wonderfully hot, hot Saturday? Anyways, I haven't done a YouTube video in forever. I just kind of lost uh, my mojo for crafting. I guess that's what everybody calls it, but I just had no desire to craft. And just with so much going on and taking care of Larry and the house and the dogs and uh, my mom and Kim, it's been a little overwhelming and I just wanted to rest when I had an opportunity to. But I did get a little bit of shopping done and HSN had their monthly uh, craft show on and I haven't bought anything in quite a long time, like I said, because I really haven't felt like crafting. But I do have a foil press machine, which means it, it heat sets um, your foil onto a die and then you pull it off and you can transfer it onto a card or whatever. So I do have that machine and I don't really have any dies to go with it other than what came with the machine, which is about a year old now. And since it's getting to be Christmas, I need to start, you know, pumping myself up to get some cards made. But I'll show you really quickly what I have in this stack. And these, again, are foil uh, press uh, dies. And so this one is a nativity scene. And these are all from Crafter's Companion. I love uh, Sarah's artistry and everything that she does to make things so easy for crafters. So this is a nativity one. This one is a word die. And it simply says Merry Christmas. And again, this is a foil stamp die. And I will show you when I do these what they look like. Another foil stamp die. This one says, May the magic of Christmas never end. Sorry, it's really hard to read it. And let's see, let me get down here to these other ones. This one went with, came as a set with the nativity one. And it says, uh, what this is. Okay, sorry. Ring out those bells. Okay, so it's Christmas bells with some, you know, uh, looks like a floral, a little bit of a floral behind it. This one says, celebrate. I'm really anxious to try these. This one says, joy to you this Christmas season. This one says, Christmas blessings. And this one says, well, I can't read it. Family and friends. Okay. Now, this I absolutely love. This is going to be so cute to do. It's actually, you make these little critter boxes. See that? There's a little bear, the snowman, the penguin, and that's a little uh, robin. And this is what it looks like. Now, in order to do these, you had to buy the bigger kit for the base of, the, this just does the, the heads. And this one, you can really see what it does here. This one actually does the boxes that you put the head on, you decorate, you cut each of these little pieces out, as you, could, you can see in this die, and then you attach it to these boxes. You can also make the little ornaments. So I am going to make a couple of these. I'm not even sure what for. I don't really do a lot of decorating anymore, but I will try, you know, a couple of these. And we have a neighbor that uh, Pam next door. She's a stupendous crafter. Oh my gosh. She makes the most beautiful wreaths and oh, she's amazing. And I'm probably going to try and make a couple of these for her and, and Diane, her roommate. So there's those. And this here is called, uh, works with matching die set. So I'm not sure. I didn't get a die set in here. So works with matching die set. I, I didn't get a die, so I'm not sure why they why it says that unless it just they forgot to put it in or something, but this should have come with sentiments. And I don't believe it did. No, it didn't. Okay. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, so it comes with these little tags right here. And then you can stamp your sentiment which came with this onto the little tags. Okay, so that's that. Then I have a really precious friend. She recently lost her mother, and some of you may know who that is. That's uh, Sharon Sue, and it's S-H-A-R-Y-N on YouTube, Sharon Sue. And she has a little pig, and um, it's called Sammy the Hammy. And so I have this to gift her. And it's really cute. It, of course, it's just a little face mask, nothing 
spectacular, but the material was adorable. So, and then I got the matching material to make her a zipper pouch. And I'll be working on that um, probably sometime, I don't know, in the next couple of days to get that in the mail to her. Then I have these that I finished up. I had made these. And what's really hard is I love to make stuff and just mail it out, surprise, you know, my friends and family with gifts and such. And I really haven't had anybody to send anything to lately. And that's been a little bit hard because that's where my heart is. I love making cards. I love making the zipper pouches and, you know, just um, sending it out to random friends and family. And I haven't had anybody to send anything to because I think I've sent everybody a zipper pouch that I can remember. But this zipper pouch here, this is a Christmas one and it, I love it. It's probably my favorite and it's quite large. And of course, it's... It's all lined with the same fabric, and I do love it. This one I may keep. I don't know. I love this one, though. But they're all looking for homes for I'm looking for homes for these. This one is a kitty one, and all I have to do with this is sew up the sides on it. And I think it's really cute. I love the black with the pink. And then I have this one. And this one was, I made this, this was almost one of the first ones that I made. So the zipper got kind of wonky on it, so I didn't send it out, and I don't know why, because I don't think anybody was going to say, oh, gee, she did an awful job on that zipper. But I was just learning how to do the zippers on these, and it is a little bit wonky. So, And then I have this one, and it has the little um, the little gingerbread man, and then I, I did put a little dangle on it, and it's really cute. I love that. So that's what's in my workspace now other than these. And I do have a new great grandbaby coming along. So I decided to make some burp cloths. I guess that's what they call them nowadays. I don't know. So all that's left to do on these now is to embroider her little name and then to put some little uh, embroidered like ducks or whatever on, on these. And then I'll get those off in the mail. The baby is due in October. And I have five of these ready to go. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I have five of these ready to get embroidered. I have a lot of stuff ready to do, just no energy to do it. And then I did, I do make t-shirts, as most of you know. I love making t-shirts. And um, I have, uh, I did buy this. It was on sale at Hobby Lobby. And you need to know you can order all this stuff online. I'm sure all you crafters already know that. And it's pretty fast delivery. You can also do a curbside pickup with uh, Joanne Fabrics. These were on sale for $7.99. And this is really pretty. It's, it's a red. And I thought that would be really pretty. Maybe for a onesie for Christmas for the baby. You know, putting on there my first Christmas or something like that. But I love making the little baby clothes. And then I have this one, which is, um, as you can see, it's a pink, and it is the iron-on. And I thought that was gorgeous. I've never used this before. It's an off-brand. It's called the Paper Studio. And it was a little pricey on this, but I got, I think it was 40% off. I'm, yeah, 40% off. And I love the color of this. And I'm going to try it. It is an iron-on. But I, I've, like I said, I've only used the Cricut, so I don't know how that's going to work. But there's the blue. And I do have a little grandson named Brayden and another grandson named Donnie, or great-grandson named Donnie. And then I have this color here, which is the pink for the babies. I have a little granddaughter named Bianca. And then, um, you know, I have... Uh, the new baby coming. So there you go. That's it for today, guys. First video in a long time. Love you all. Bye.